Hi guys, I have some more Traveler's Notebooks to share with you, and um, as always, these will be listed in my shop, but I just wanted to share these with you guys. So, I created these notebooks using the cream and sugar paper line from Doodlebug. It's another one that I always thought was so cute, so I finally, finally purchased it on Amazon, and these are the ones I created. I'm... I may do some B6s in the future, I'm not sure yet, but um, I did create these ones. I mean, I've told you guys all the time that the micros are my favorite just because they're so tiny and cute. Um, but on these ones, I did something a little bit different. I did add a charm to them because I actually had these in my stash. They were actually necklaces and I turned them into charms. And I just think it's like the perfect little touch because you know it's it does have like donuts and stuff so I thought these would be perfect so I went ahead and I added one to each notebook because I happen to have three so I thought it was just perfect and meant to be so um, again if you guys are interested in purchasing these will be in my Zibit shop the link is always in the description box so I guess let's go ahead and I will show you guys what they look like so this is the first one so it has this little donut charm on it really cute so this is the milk and cookies one so i created this card for the front it is laminated and this these charms are removable there's a lobster class you can always put it up here or you can you know not use it at all it's up to you so this is what the notebook looks like and then when you open it up, um, they're all kind of the same as I've been making them. So there's a clear pocket on the inside. There's a 2019 calendar. There's your washi sample card. And I actually had the washi that went with this collection in my stash. I bought it a long time ago because I thought it was super cute. It has these little coffee cups. Um, so I added some of that to each notebook. There's an extra little laminated card right here, and then you can see the background is this real cute coffee or teacup paper or design. So here's your first insert. I used these little um, border strips from the collection. Okay, when you next thing is your page marker. It looks like that. I did add some sticky notes to it, and then I did something a little bit different. I used some brown paper because these kind of have like the coffee themed which would be brown and then like the donut dough part is brown so I wanted to try to incorporate some more brown into these so um, I created this folder again I used the washi tape from the collection it's super cute and then when you open that up there are some stickers and some extra cards that I created Okay. And then here's your next insert and then your third insert and then on the back there's another clear pocket and there are some stickers and an extra card that I made of course you can use those or not use those that's all up to you and then there's the back again with the coffee cups and the teacups it's really cute and then of course your little charm little donut so cute so that is the first one so it looks like that oops I forgot to put the page marker back in so put that in there real quick and then there's that so this is the milk and cookies one I have it labeled in the shop with like milk and cookies just because I based it off of the card on the front so that is the first one okay here is the second one this is the donuts one what I'm calling the donuts one again I created this little charm for it really cute so this is what it looks like and then this is the card I made so cute and then this is what the notebooks looks like without the card just has a real cute donut design all over it okay then when you open it up so there's a clear pocket here's your washi sample card there's an extra little card right there 
Here is your first insert. I did these ones a little bit different because I do also have the cutouts from the collection, so I wanted to um, use some in here. So this one, I decided to use the little die cuts on the covers of the inserts. So super cute. Here is your page marker. Then here is your folder. And then there are some stickers, planner stickers, and some extra cards that I made. And then here is your next insert. So cute. And then here is your third insert. And then here is your, uh, or there's a clear pocket back here. And I have two cards that I made and an extra little sticker in there. And then it has that real cute heart design on the um, inside. So it's super cute. So there's that. Okay. So there it is. And of course you can, you know, put the charm wherever you want. So that's the second one. And here is the third one, which I think might be my favorite just because their little coffee cups are so cute. So up here, or I made a little thing right here where you can hang your charm from just because I was trying different things. So that is the charm that you'll get. And then this is what I'm calling the coffee uh, notebook. So here is the card that I made. And then here is the notebook without the card. Super cute. So there's that. And then when you open it up, it has a clear pocket with the 2019 calendar, your washi symbol card, and an extra card right there. So again, I used a die cut from the collection on the first insert. Super cute. And here is your page marker. Again, you can add your own little notes to this or whatever you want. I just added these there as a little extra and just to kind of show you, you know, you could stick things to it. Okay, so here is the folder. This time I did it with blue. And again, I used the washi from the collection. It's just super cute and I wanted to use it as much as I could on these because, you know, it matches whatever. So, uh, excuse me, I, um... Used it there and inside of here there's some planner stickers and some cards that I made from the paper line um, so there's that here's your next insert and then here is your third insert and then here is the clear pocket in the back with two little cards they're both laminated and then here is the back I love this paper it's so cute this has been like on my wanting to create using this paper forever so I was glad to finally uh, purchase it and be able to create some notebooks using it because they're just it's just such a cute paper line or yeah I guess you call it paper line but I was glad to finally use it so that's kind of like off my want to do list so that is the third one super cute so um, like I said if you guys are interested these are already listed in my shop and um, yeah so I kind of like the charms on it I think it adds a nice little extra touch um, if I have stuff in my stash where I can make charms I'm gonna try to do that but I don't it just depends I guess but I think it was a cute idea for these. I think the charms match perfectly, you know, because they're the donuts and whatnot. So anyways, if you guys are interested, again, my link to my shop is always in the description box. And thank you guys who have already purchased some of my previous notebooks. I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.